morning from a super snowy day here on Whistler Mountain. I am so excited because I think this is gonna be my first powder day of the entire ski season. I have my uh, fatter skis on today and yeah, if you just heard that, they're bombing up on peak right now to prevent avalanches. So hopefully we can get up to peak later and get some fresh tracks and uh, get out there and get amongst it. So Evan, is coming up over there <laughs> and we are gonna put this camera away and get skiing. So let's do it, you guys. Today is an insanely, insanely good day. I honestly need to wake up earlier more often because the snow is just incredible. There's not actually as much uh, like fresh powder as I thought there was gonna be today, but the groomers, oh, the snow is like all soft and juicy. And it's just so amazing. You can hear them bombing still up top of peak. So hopefully soon peak will open, but visibility is like negative up there right now. So yeah, I don't know how it's gonna be for filming. So we'll see, but having a great day so far. to the ice cave on Black Home Mountain. It is so freaking beautiful. I've actually never been here before and it's like a very staple thing you need to see in Whistler. And uh, I just took a pretty ridiculous thumbnail here. So if you came here hoping to see that, well, that was my feet, so yeah. But if you're ever in Whistler, definitely recommend coming and checking out the ice cave. It is so, so ridiculously beautiful. I'm so stoked on today. It's just been, <laughs> it's just been a great day on the mountain, but I have been here since fairly, fairly early this morning. So I am ready to head home and get on with the day. So let's get our butts on the gondola and head back down to the village. Okay, so it is a bit later in the afternoon and Evan and I have come to Lakeside Park because it's so freaking beautiful out today. The sky is just like parted and it's like bluebird now. So let's go and shine. Let's go. Let's go. Mountain, Sprout Mountain. That's where we biked in the summer. <laughs> this is so awesome. I'm so happy I got so sunny today. It's so, so gorgeous. Tonight, Evan and I are doing something very, very special. We've partnered up with our friends at the Fairmont Chateau Whistler to show you guys what it's like to dine in their new snow globe dining domes. Basically, they've built these three insanely beautiful domes out here in the forest, surrounded, well, not really in the forest, we're like just outside the Fairmont, but it feels like you're in the forest and we're surrounded by these snowy trees and Christmas lights. I'm sure you can see behind me, it's just like ridiculously beautiful. And something that's really cool is, whoops, I just spilled this, but <laughs> each of the domes is partnered with a different beverage company. So we have Stella Artois, which is our dome, and it says my name on the glass. I don't know if you can see, it says Robin, so cute. But there's also uh, Blasted Church and La Roche Vineyard, as well as Fever Tree has sponsored another dome. So each dome has a unique vibe, and the drink pairings are different depending on like which dome you're in. The whole experience is a five course dining menu, and it's really the perfect thing to do for 2020 because you're very <laughs> separate from anyone else. Obviously, you're in your own dome. Evan and I are here just the two of us. I just feel very thankful to be here and to be able to share this experience with you. So yeah, let's uh, get right into it and start this incredible dining experience.
friends. We are officially like four courses into our meal here. <sighs> Would you look at this beautiful little scalp? Mm. It's pretty bad. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. No words. That's it. That's all. Okay. <laughs> almost outside like it feels like you're outside but you're nice and toasty warm yeah it's just something different and I feel like in 2020 when we're not all able to travel and we're kind of you know not stuck but mostly based out of our hometowns it's really nice to get out and do something different and this was just such an incredible opportunity so a big thank you to the team at the Fairmont Chateau Whistler for having us this was Best incredible. girlfriend ever. <laughs> so if you are looking for a luxury dining experience here in Whistler and you really want to do something that's truly an experience, I highly recommend booking the snow globes. That's it for today. Thank you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Stella Artois. <laughs> Is that organic? <laughs> and head with the branch. Definitely gotta up your backpack game. Um but yeah, so. I don't know what I'm saying. 2020. <laughs> and scene. <laughs>